Safety and quality are always top priority at Bedford. That's why we stand behind our Proform structural products to be free of manufacturing defects for 25 years. And we pull samples off the line for quality assurance testing every day. Occasionally, you may notice superficial imperfections on FRP products. Many of these blemishes are a natural part of the pultrusion process, and they do not compromise the structural integrity of the profile. This video is intended to help you identify which blemishes are acceptable and which are not, according to ASTM standards. A blister is a rounded elevation on the surface of the part. It typically happens as a result of variations in the temperatures during the pultrusion process. Blisters are permitted if they form between the surfacing veil layer and the balance of the laminate but only if the width is no greater than 80% of surface width. The diameter must be less than one and a quarter inches, and the length should not exceed eight inches. There should not be more than two blisters per 10 feet of length. Popcorn blisters less than six hundredths of an inch in diameter and one hundredth of an inch high are permitted. Blisters are not permitted within connection areas intended for bonding purposes. Grooving and sloughing are long grooves or depressions in the surface of a pultrusion running parallel to its length. This can happen because of a change in tension on the fiberglass roving or buildup in the die. Grooving is acceptable as long as it's not over 15% of the nominal wall thickness, no sharp edge is created, and dimensional tolerances are met. The example on the right is not acceptable because the grooved portion is under the minimum thickness specified. Sloughing is also acceptable as long as it meets the same criteria. Any grooving or sloughing that occurs on opposing edges of the surface are not acceptable. The black marks on the bottom example simulate the location of opposing grooves or sloughing. Delamination is the separation of two or more layers or plies of reinforcement material within a pultrusion. This defect is not acceptable under any circumstances as it will compromise the structural integrity of the part. Occasionally, specifications call for a pultrusion that's formed with a two-part die. A lengthwise flash or depression may form on the surface of the part where the top plate and the bottom plate of the die meet. This is an acceptable blemish, as long as the line projection does not exceed the product's material thickness by more than roughly half a millimeter. It should not create a sharp edge or have loose fibers. Folded reinforcement is an unintentional misalignment of mat or fabric reinforcing material. This type of irregularity is usually due to shifting or crowding of the reinforcing material during pultrusion. Such folds may not affect the surface appearance of the pultrusion. They're primarily visible in a cut cross-section of the product. Any fold that's 50% or less through the product's thickness is acceptable, even if a crack is present from the inside tip of the fold to the product surface as long as the test requirements are met. Any fold that's over 50% through the product's thickness is rejected, regardless of whether a crack is present. Any crack that penetrates through the glass ply at a matte fold area, regardless of the depth of the fold, is not acceptable. When there's a lack of or incomplete cross-linking of the resin, this is called insufficient cure. Visually, it looks like the resin is bubbled and or the surface may lack the normal pultruded surface gloss or shine. This will affect the structural integrity of the part and is not acceptable. Internal porosity is the presence of numerous pits or pinholes beneath the surface. They are usually only visible in a cut cross section of the product. No more than two pits or pinholes are allowed for every sixteenth of an inch of thickness per one inch of width. Shapes exceeding the limit can be accepted if the properties, including water absorption, are satisfied.
Internal shrinkage cracks are longitudinal cracks in the pultrusion that are found within areas of roving reinforcement and end in the off-axis reinforcement. These cracks are permitted if the crack does not reach the surface of the product and if the product meets test requirements. Internal cracks are not acceptable when they penetrate through an internal mat or center layer of reinforcement. Cracks are defined as a visual separation that occurs from the surface of the part and penetrates more than one layer of reinforcement. This is not an acceptable defect. Resin-rich areas appear lighter or darker than the surface area directly around the defect, depending on the resin mix. The glass fiber pattern is not typically visible in these areas, and the resin-rich area may or may not show shrink cracks, scaling, or sloughing. This defect is acceptable as long as the product meets test requirements. Scaling is a condition where resin plates or particles are formed on the surface of a pultrusion. Scales can often be readily removed, sometimes leaving surface voids or depressions. Scaling is acceptable if removal does not expose dry fibers and if dimensional tolerances are met. Resin craze is when multiple fine separation cracks or longitudinal cracks occur on the pultruded surface. These cracks are acceptable over the entire length of the part, as long as they do not penetrate into the reinforcement nor to the depth of one ply of reinforcement. If you have any questions or need more information about visual defects, please contact us anytime at 1-800-377-3280 or sales at bedfordreinforced.com.